I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to Game Grumps. Hey, how's Hello. it going? <laughs> it's okay. going good. Everything's fine. Oh, Lighting well. Lamp. Looks like we answered our own question then. Thanks for joining us today. What? Oh, about, uh, how's it going? Oh, it's going good. Let us cleanse these foul streets. Okay. Alright. Is that a message left to you? Yeah, I'll give it a fine. I liked it. Fine! It was a fine message. <laughs> That's a fine message. A, a real, real fine, fine message. message. <laughs> oh shit, here we go. Here's some fucking weird people with torches. Look at them, they're doing a ceremony. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooga booga. Oh god! <laughs> oh, Jesus! God, and like... You, I was gonna let you express your religious freedoms. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have you know, to fucking come at me with a cleaver. I actually thought it was sort of beautiful, you know? And yeah. and 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 this is just this is just horrible. It's nice. It's nice. Oh, another sickle. Guess she'll have to go to the doctor because she's looking a little sickle herself. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Sickle cell anemia is a very, very serious disease. Uh, okay. I you know, <laughs> here's the thing. Yeah. I didn't know what that was. Oh god. Sickle cell anemia? Yeah, so I looked it up, and it was <laughs> like, your cells, or your blood cells. The actual cells, they, yeah. They look like sickles. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's fucked up. I know, I know. It's it's also, I think it mostly happens to black people. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why, though. Um, is it regional? <sighs> if it was, but everyone lives together, so how could it be regional? Huh. It's... That's well, I mean, like, it's- it originated in, like, in, like, mostly Africa, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, But I don't know why, like, a certain body type would be more susceptible to it. Weird. Um, I don't know genetics, I guess. Yeah. It's- I mean, the same thing about Jews and, like, Tay-Sachs disease and stuff like that. It's weird that, like, there's certain diseases that only affect, or predominantly affect, like, a, a, a certain group. Like the way, um, kicks to the nuts only affect Ross from me. Yeah. I'm gonna kick Ross in the nuts. Was that not clear? I'm gonna- no. Whoa! Oh, hello, God, hello, hello, I guess hello, behind hi, you is the right you? way to go. Okay. <laughs> I guess- I was like- I was like, behind you? I don't, uh... Oh, did it say behind you in the note? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I'll, I'll let this watch this. You, like, go up here and you can just, like, oh, hi. And he's just like, well, yeah. time to get to work. Okay. Got Walking a long around. day of stalking going on. <laughs> Despicable Night and Fear Fire. Alright. Mm. Oh, there's a dog, too. Fucking god damn it. Oh, and there's a dude. Ugh, alright, let me... Ugh. Let me just, uh... Attract them over here. Are yeah, coming sure. Coming down here. Coming down here, baby. Come here, puppy. Is that where you're coming? Come down here, puppy. Mm-hmm. Pop, 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 Oh, here he comes. Oh, God! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Who's my little guy? Who's my little guy? <laughs> oh, shit. It'd be funny if it was just like a normal puppy and the puppy opens its mouth and then like turns inside out into that thing. <laughs> I actually had a weird dream about that in my dog back home. Really? Yeah. He kept like yawning and his face kept like melting and stretching off. Oh, yeah. I had a terrifying dream this morning and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it wasn't very terrifying. Was it? It, it was so terrifying and like. It, it was one of those things where, like, you just wake up, like, you remember how scared you were when you wake up more than the dream itself. Yeah, right. It was definitely some kind of ghost thing. I remember, like... I hate ghosts. Yeah, I remember being upstairs, and then, like, w nobody being up there, and then walking downstairs, and then, like, keys got thrown down the stairs, like, Ooh. onto the floor, and I was like, ha <laughs> But, like... You know, I was still so dead asleep, it wasn't like, oh, this is a dream, everything's fine, you know? Yeah. So, I had to sweat it out. And it was, it was like a morning, like, I had already woken up and then gone back to sleep. Oh, no. Yeah, those are always the most vivid dreams. Oh, totally. When you so, sleep for, like, way too long. Yes. So I was really sweating it out from, like, 8.05 to 8.10 <laughs> this morning, <laughs> but it, like, felt like an eternity to me. Man, yeah. Dude, fucking ghost shit is the creepiest stuff to me. Yeah. Um... Do you believe in ghosts? No, but... Okay. Me neither. You know what I... <laughs> I mean, like, not even remotely. Yeah. But go ahead. So, here's... Here's what I've learned. The, the most compelling thing. Because, like, you know, 
when you go to like a creepy place or like a house, you know, that everyone says like is haunted or whatever. Yes. And like even even if you go to one of those houses and you aren't told that, you still like feel like a little messed up. Oh, sure. And it's like, oh, maybe it's just because it's a creepy place. But I, I learned recently that there was a dude in the UK who who actually did a study on places like this and found that like some of the most famous most of the most famous places that he he looked at mm -hmm. um there was like a sound thing going on with like uh like the equipment in the building and the reverberation of the building and like what the building was made out of mm. and it resonates on a frequency that like elicits fear really yeah it, it's like it's like a really subtle it's like 80 hertz or something that's interesting but but that was the first thing ever with like a ghost thing where i was like oh shit that like that makes total sense. Yeah. Well, sure, man. I mean, like, there's so much going on. Like, when you watch a good, scary movie, a lot of times you don't even know why you're scared, you know? Like, or why... Like, so many scary movies use the same techniques, you know? Right. Like, someone slowly opening a door and the swell of, like, slightly off-pitch violins mm -hmm. starts up and then a jump scare. But, like, why are some so much more effective than others? And there really are these, like, little subtle things. Hitchcock was a fucking master at that. Yeah, he was really great. He, like, you've seen Psycho, right? Mm-hmm. I think I might have talked about this once, but, like, the beginning of Psycho, just the title sequence, um, when you watch it, 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 like, it says the title, Psycho, and then it, like, slices horizontally through the title, and then the top and bottom of the word kind of like jerk back and forth, but like arrhythmically, and it's designed to make you uncomfortable um, because of the, the lack of rhythm and like, it's just jarring. Huh. So like, even before that movie starts, and long before you're ever introduced to like the villain or anything like that, like you're already like, feeling kind of like, uh Man, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Never even... Never even, never even. Yeah, I mean there's a reason it's like endured as a classic. Have you watched the remake? I've not. With Vince Vaughn. Any good? It's yeah. It's surprisingly, it's actually pretty good. It it's like um. It's I I don't remember who directed it, but it's clear like they got it. And there were a lot of like reused shots, but not like in a tactless way, you know. Right. Like, it it, like just, a, like an homage. It, yeah, it was very artful. Um, I would I would recommend it. Yeah, I mean like, it. Whoa. The original's very good. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is settling. I don't know where I'm going right now. It's oh. I know where I am. <laughs> oh, I know where I am now. Yay, I love yams. Ah, oh, yam. Delicious. Oh, it's all inside my yed. <laughs> miss you, miss you. Miss you, love you. Um, what was I saying? Something about Psycho. Oh, yeah, the original. Um, the, <laughs> like, some parts of it just have not aged amazingly, really? you know? Well, I mean, like, because, uh, like, you watch the actual murder in the shower scene, it's a little goofy now. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they just had never done, there had never been a scene like that in movies, you know? So, like, you see the knife, like, slowly coming in, and then the woman's like, ah! And then the knife comes back, and there's blood on it, and it's like, here it comes again, you know? Yeah. It, it's, it's, I mean, just horror has come a long way. But, um, like, after you watch it, you're still fucked up, and you still don't want to take a shower. Yeah. Because, like, it plays to, like, deeper fears, like, that feeling of, like, being naked and, like, super vulnerable. That's and, true. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, that's why, like, Jaws, I guess, was pretty effective. Too. Oh, fucking... The most terrifying movie to me ever. Cause like, how helpless is that feeling of just like being in the water and you just see like these monstrous jaws coming at you and there's nothing you can fucking do. Yeah, <laughs> they're better than you in that. That's their world, bro. Yep, I've, I've never been in the ocean. What really? Never. Well, maybe when I was a kid, but not once I developed that phobia. What the? F what the hell? What if we took a beach trip and we're all having fun? Yeah, I'd have fun on the beach. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I, I have trouble even, like, letting my feet dangle off a dock. No way. It's like a crippling phobia, dude. It's like the... It's the only thing I'm truly, truly scared of. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 
I hate being in lakes <laughs> and pools. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In pools? In pools. Purely because, like, I can close my eyes and imagine what it would be like if a shark was coming at me. I know, not that healthy. But, what am I gonna do? Oh, I know. Dan. I love swimming, too. It's a bitch. We gotta... We gotta fix this, bro. I don't know how you do it, other than just, like, grit what? your teeth and go in. Yeah. Ugh, oh, but not into an ocean, dude. I really... Well, baby steps, I'm sure. I, I'll, I'll baby step right into a lake. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that's no problem. I'm sure there's like a method for getting over because I don't, I don't have like a crazy phobia. I just have my <sighs> fear of sound. Terrifying. And, the, and the, I was cool with rivers until I saw that goddamn video where that girl catches like a shark in a river, and she's like, "It's a big ass shark." <laughs> 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 Never saw that one. No. Oh, that's a winner. Like these the. I don't want to call them rednecks, but like they, they've got like thick southern accents, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and like I guess her boyfriend is filming her and he's like, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so funny. I'll, I'll show it to you. But That's I was awesome. like, I was like watching. I was like, well, there go rivers for me. Fuck. Oh, wheelchair guy. Dead. <laughs> yeah, we gotta fucking, we gotta fix that, bro. First, first step is one of those, um, one of those inflatable sharks that you can drive around with a remote control. Alright, you know what? We're gonna- next time on Game Rooms. Cause you are mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I had no idea it was that bad. Oh, so scary.